<laughs> We're going into this brand new campus that we don't, I don't really know my way around and I'm coming into this building that's going to be my home for the next four years. It's just been really nice to meet people and look, meet the people who we're about to be friends with for the next four years and maybe for the rest of our lives. <laughs> I was really excited to come here. It was always my dream to come to Rice ever since I saw the pictures of it and ever since I heard that um, this is where they came up with the buckyball. I got here, I did the RESP program and that's essentially a program that um, brings together a group of students that come from traditionally not so competitive high schools, maybe they didn't have the best college preparation, and it kind of kickstarts them into the Rice experience because it is a really difficult university. That's where I met some of my best friends and we're still best friends now, and that's how I started my journey into Rice. I'm a bioengineering student and if you asked freshman me, she would be very surprised that I was still a bioengineering student, but you know, you gotta do what you love. My rice experience has been just a lot of research here in the BRC and a lot of student organizations. There was a whole struggle with getting to rice even because my, fa my family really wanted me to stay nearby, but I knew that I wanted something more. I wanted to be challenged and I wanted to come to the university that I had chosen because of the bioengineering department and because of all the great just connections that I could have here like right next door the largest medical center in the world and over there all the museums like it's just a hub of like everything that I could want. I came in wanting to go to medical school but then after experiencing research and like the joy that brings me, I decided that I want to do an MD-PhD, which is essentially a dual program where you become a physician scientist. I want to be able to treat patients, but also engineer solutions for them specifically so that, you know, there doesn't have to be a middleman between the doctor and the scientist doing all the research. Doing research and being a doctor, like, I can't see myself choosing, so I said, okay, what the heck, I'll do both. <laughs>